Welcome back to another video, guys. So today we're going to be going over how you can fix and salvage a Wii remote with corrosion. Um, so I found this Wii remote with the Wii I got from the Salvation Army, and it had a bunch of corrosion on the inside. So I took it apart, and I'm going to show you guys a short like tutorial on how to fix this Wii remote. And I also got some live footage on me repairing it. Um, so first off, on the inside of this remote, there's going to be four tri-wing screws. So you're going to need a tri-wing screwdriver. I'm going to put a picture up of everything you guys need to uh, all the tools you need to fix this Wii remote. So there's two on the bottom and two in the middle. So there's one, two, three, four. So you take all four of those out and then you're going to need a flathead screwdriver because this here is a snap-on piece. There's a little seam right here. So you're going to have to be really careful with a flathead screwdriver. Probably the wider the better and just take your time and then eventually, you know, um, take your time because if you don't, everything's going to go flying everywhere. Um, so yeah, you just pry this here along the seam. Um, just take your time on both sides and eventually it'll pop off. And then from there, you're gonna see the board and you're gonna see all the, you know, the little uh, rubber pieces and, uh, you know, button pieces in there and everything. Take the board out and um, you're just gonna go over the corroded areas with some white vinegar, a very light white vinegar with a toothbrush. And then um, also um, you're gonna use, after you get done scrubbing away the corrosion, um, you're gonna use Q-tips and whatnot to rub off the excess residue. Um, and then I use w, uh, WD-40 contact cleaner to go over the contact areas on the battery terminal areas and all the contact areas. So um, you guys are gonna see that in the video here um, coming up. So, um, so yeah, um, just cause it's got corrosion and it don't work, um, doesn't mean you can't fix it. So. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about this one and um, you will too if you try it out because this was the first Wii remote that I uh, repaired and I tried in the past just kind of scrubbing away at the terminal I got it to work but this was actually taking it apart because I didn't take it apart before but I still got it to work by cleaning off some of the the residue but this was by far the easiest so um, without further ado let's go to the video and I'll show you guys me taking it apart and repairing it. All right, guys, this is a Wii remote that I got in uh, a bundle with that Wii that I went back to the Salvation Army and got. It had corrosion. As you can see down there, there's a pretty good amount of corrosion there. And I've gotten a lot of it out of here around the contacts. So I brushed it all out with a, that toothbrush there. And um, I'm hoping to put this in the Wii bundle um, so that, you know, I can sell the Wii. I got the Wii for 20 and then I had an extra Wii remote. So I'm trying to pair it with two. And so maybe I'll get 75. So, you know, that'd be like 50 bucks profit, you know? So that'd be pretty cool. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys uh, that I'm taking apart this Wii remote. All right, guys, so um, I got this uh, Wii remote part way back together. And so I cleaned up the, I cleaned up the contacts um, and used white vinegar to uh, clean up the contacts and also some uh, WD-40 contact cleaner. Uh, to clean up the contacts and uh, the white vinegar to get rid of the corrosion. So, um, and then I used a hair dryer to kind of dry off where I uh, scraped around in there and stuff, you know. Technically, I think you should wait a few hours and just let it sit, like, you know, in a ventilated area. But we're going to go ahead and uh, try to put this back together. Uh, just excuse me for just one minute, guys. I'm just got to make sure I get another Wii remote and I'm putting together these. Uh, the home button and the plus and the minus button correctly. So, um, put the pad back on. Uh, I'm trying 
Yeah, okay, so the pad would go like that. Okay, so see, I got the pad on there. See, I got the pad, so we're gonna try to go ahead and do the buttons. And I don't know how tricky that speaker is gonna be. Maybe not. It probably won't be too bad, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. This might be so that's where we're at now, guys. So I got the plus and the minus in. Uh, I just got to get the uh, first try. Did you get a first try? Almost first try. First try? Come on. You know you want to go in there. You know you want to go in there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I got them all in. And now's the tricky part. That was the tricky part. So we gotta get that little button box. Stay where it, I almost like wanna put something underneath of it to like make it stick so I don't have any kind of a problem. So I don't wanna tilt this. <laughs> Is that everything? I think that's everything from the remote. All right, guys. So we're gonna sandwich this sucker. Okay. Ah, probably should have cleaned that button up. But I didn't. Yeah. For anyone who doesn't know, you got to have a tri-wing screwdriver for these. So, um, so yeah, got to have one of these babies. Tri-wing. All right, guys, so uh, we remote, it's fixed. I mean, little time and patience, you know. Um, this honestly was the easiest um, controller I've ever fixed. I mean, I had this fixed in less than an hour and taking it apart and putting it back together was easy, super easy. I mean, I've took apart PS2 controllers and GameCube controllers and by far the easiest controller I have ever took apart and fixed was this Wii remote. So now I'm gonna be able to bundle this up with the Wii I got at the Salvation Army and make a pretty darn good profit. <laughs> so I'm feeling pretty proud of myself and with a little time and patience, I think you guys can do it too. So here it is guys, totally working 100%. So as you can see, I cleaned the port out, so no issue with the nunchuck. Yep, totally working there, you know. And so, uh, do a little bit of a, uh, let's see how it goes here. Yeah. So yeah, as you guys can see, uh, it's working, working great. Um, totally saved this. From the Salvation Army, man. Took the time and it's like new. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, I, if there's anything that you felt like I missed that you didn't uh, understand or you needed a little help with, just let me know down in the comments. Um, you know, I'd be more than happy to, you know, give you a tip or two on um, taking apart and uh, fixing your Wii remote. Um, so, yeah, don't forget to like. And subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell for all future notification guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.